I'm going to try and video this, but it's really, really windy today. So, um, I took time in the garden. I found the two pecan trees and kind of gathered or, or cleared around them. I found that one has been eaten by a bunch of bugs. Um, it's just a leaf, so I can't find any stem damage, so I'm okay with that, especially with winter coming. I cleaned out both of the beds there that are going to house the marigold. Then I pulled all the strawberries from that other tub that was too, uh, too deep, too whatever. Um, and I moved all of those strawberries down into this end that doesn't prosper. So I'm hoping that if they could make it there, they can make it in that end. Um, cleared out this, and then I'll take you up and show you what else I did. Over here we still have a bunch of gourds that are um, growing. You can see that they're... There, they're not ripe yet. I've got them on the ground here, here. We've got some new ones forming over there. We've got young, we've got old. Um, anyway, here's some more over here. There's more down there. That whole trellis is just full of them. There's more over here. Um, so pretty much, I'm just waiting for them to dry out. Here's some more. The dew has been so, so heavy in the mornings that it actually looks like it's raining off the house so um i am gonna go and i'm gonna pull that off of my tree it's growing up that tree again i don't know why but it really likes that tree um but the final thing that i did today before calling it quits is i emptied this tub and it no longer has strawberries this tub will move over and it will be part of the herb garden so i'll have that um, I gotta do something. It's going everywhere, but it just, it's starting to die, and I think it's because it gets so cold. It's been in the 40s and stuff, so it has some leaves, probably not going to produce. This is my basil. I'm going to trim all my leaves and stuff and get my basil dried and uh, do that, and then I'm going to clip off um, all of this off the tomato cage. So this will be, um, I don't know that I'll do cucumbers here again because I have a new plan for a new trellis and I'm so excited to do it, but it's not going to get done right now until I get my truck. I've got to get the other parts. So I don't know. This will probably move down to the other spot with all the herbs and that'll be the container, herb garden, whatever. And again, I still have onions galore. There's the old ones. Here's the new ones. Um, lots of onion greens, so if anybody needs any, let me know. There are really ooh, tons of them, and there's tons in there. I just keep one spot cleared out so I can just come out and get what I need. That's kind of terrible, isn't it? But who knows? I don't know if I'm supposed to clear them out or not, but I just use it as I need it. And there's actually onions down in there, too, that I could harvest if I wanted them. Um, walking onions, like I said, I said a hundred times, they're super easy, and onions all year long. And thankfully... Our climbing spinach is coming back. Um, if you remember, the trellis went down. Um, I haven't gotten strings out here for it to climb on, but I'm super happy that it's going like that. Sorry, I have a itch. Um, but it is going to berry. There's a lot of berries in here. And from everything I've read, they're self-sewing. I'm stepping on some. Yes, dang it. Ah, see what I do? See what I do? See what I do? Okay. See here? There's some. There's some. Um, this right here was part of the old, but all the berries are like seeds, I guess, and they're going to go to seeds. So I like that because that means next year, guess what I'm going to have right now? Maybe I'm going to have a bird on this system. So, um, yeah. All right. I'm going to go up to the house. I got a ton of other things to do. And for today. It's done. I'm going to keep working on it and get it ready for winter.